みなさんこんにちは。カイシティアーシーのデイトです。どうぞよろしくお願いします。この YouTube チャンネルをいつも見てくれて本当にありがとうございます。えっ、ー、と、今日は初めて日本語を使ってみたいかなと思って、日本語はなかなかうまく使えないんですね。えっ、ー、と、<笑>言ってることもしかしてわからないかもしれないんです。すいません。えー、と今日の動画ですね、この間、カーナス・アーシー・パークでタミヤの TTO2B のレースを参加しました。すごく楽しかったです。では、最後までご覧ください。Hey there, how's it going? My name is David and you're watching Kai City RC. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my race coverage of this year's first TTO2B race held at Carnosa RC Park. If you'd like to know more about Carnosa RC Park, I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. Now, in addition to the TTO2B race themed here, Carnosa also hold Grasshopper Cup,、uh, DTO2, DTO3 race series, and also regular themed meetings. Incidentally, the morning after this race, I also attended their Dirt Master in Genova meeting. A full video on that is coming soon, so stay tuned. If you're new here, I'll just briefly recap the race rules and regulations. The race was open to any buggies using the TTO2B chassis. Entrants must use the kit 540 motor, the kit pinion and spur, and the kit tires. Power is 2S LiPo or NIM batteries. The rules follow Team Chom Maggie's deathmatch style rules, which basically means if you become immobile for whatever reason, that is where you remain until the end of the race. Points are awarded if you finish the race, the higher you place, the more points you get. To make things interesting, the normal circuit is modified with a series of strategically placed cones, obstacles designed to flip you over if you're not careful.、Uh, incidentally, I fell victim to one of these later on in the evening. The deathmatch rules really just make for some very exciting and very unpredictable racing. You never know who's going to win. You can be way out in front and then the slightest error, you flip over, that's it, you lose the race. Hopefully, by now, the footage you've been watching so far, you're realizing that racing at Carnosa isn't so much about competition and out and out winning, it's more about just having fun and, and sharing our passion with the, for the hobby with like minded people. So, this time we had、um, 20 participants of all ages and abilities entering the race. For qualifying, we were divided into four groups. Qualifying rounds consisted of three races、uh, of three laps each. Now, if you're interested in the specs of my TTO2B, I'll put a link in the description to a video where I talk about some of the upgrades I've done. Since the final race of last year, I've added several more mods, basically just to improve the durability more than anything else.、Uh, that includes replacing the chassis, diff covers, and suspension arms with Tamiya's hardened upgrades. As well as adding alloy prop shaft,、uh, alloy motor mount, and I replaced the, the rear wing with a Yokomo one, it's just stronger. I also replaced the shocks with Tamiya's big bore aeration dampers, more for durability than anything else. That said, you really don't need to spend a lot of money on upgrades, and even in near stock form, the TTO2B can be very competitive. In actual fact, the TTO2B that went on to win that night has very few mods. I'd just like to jump in here and apologize for the length of this video. I left pretty much all of my cameras running the entire evening. Fortunately, I just had enough memory space. I think they ran out of、uh, card space moments after the final race of the A main. So I ended up with a lot of footage.、Uh, I've done my best to try and include everybody that participated. So the video is a little longer than usual, but I、uh, hope you'll stick with it. I'd also like to thank Carnos RC Park for just. And all the participants for just making it such a, a great, wonderful evening and for organizing. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about racing. If you haven't, if you're on the fence and you, you, you're debating whether to go to a circuit, in fact, I was talking with my brother last night about going racing and he hasn't yet 
you know, visited a circuit and I, I just can't recommend it enough. And I'm sure a lot of people watch my channel also watch Gavin's RC Kicks channel and you can see just how much he's enjoying taking his buggies racing now as well. So if you are on the fence, don't hesitate, just get along to your local track and, and try racing. I, I'm, I guarantee you, you won't regret it. So how well did I get on? Well, as you can see in this video, luck was very, very much on my side this time, despite rolling over more times than I care to count, especially during qualifying. I was able to quickly recover and get right side up. I kind of lost track of my results in the qualifying heats, but if memory serves, I won most of the races. So I was off to a good start. By the time qualifying had finished, I was surprised to learn that I was in the lead with points. My next race would be the A main. Unfortunately, this pattern has started to become all too familiar for me as I tend to do really well in qualifying, but once the main start, nerves just get the better of me and it usually goes south from there. So I knew I was going to be up against some skilled drivers, but also just against my nerves. The final A main was five races of three laps each. And true to form, in race one of the A main, um, I made a silly mistake early on, hit a cone, flipped over, and that ended the race. So, so much for trying to relax. I did a better job in the remaining races. I came first in one, and I think second for a couple more. And at the end of the night, to my surprise and delight, I placed second overall. And need to say, I was overjoyed. So that's race one of the TTO 2 B race series um, done. Uh, the next one is going to be later this year. This coming weekend we have the first of this year's Grasshopper and DTO2, DTO3 races. So I will of course be entering and covering that. Uh, like I said, I've got footage from yesterday's Dirtmaster in Genova meeting. Um, that was coming soon. So lots going on on Kai RC. Well, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.